New into stock, we have a Mercedes-Benz. It's the 1.8 SLK 200 compressor. It's a 2008 on an 08 plate. Low mileage, only covered 43,044 miles so far. Uh, good service history. Very, very nice and tidy car. It's finished in um, iridium silver, I think. Looks grey to me, but uh, we think the colour's iridium silver. It has red leather seats and they're heated too. The MOT is until the 29th of July 2018, so we'll be doing that again. It will also, even though it's not ready for a service, we'll also give it a service check over before it goes out. The fuel economy, urban is 25.4, extra urban 48.7, and combined is 36.2. A 0 to 60 time of 7.6 seconds, top speed of 147 miles per hour, and uh, it's a 184 brake horsepower engine. So uh, I'll just take you for a ride in it now. Okay, the car's got a full service history. I'll just quickly run you through it. There we go. 4th of June 2010, 6,634 miles, independent Mercedes specialist. 3rd of August 2011, at 11,595 miles, that's Mercedes-Benz Blackburn. 28th of the 5th, could be the 5th or the 3rd, not sure. 2015, 16,711 miles, Mottram Trade Sales. Then 29th of July 2014 at 26,070 miles, that's Fords of Winsford. 17th of August 2015 at 31,855 miles. Miles Manor Garage Chester, another one at Manor Garage Chester there, 27th of July 2016 at 36,165 miles and then 7th of the 7th 2017, 39,329 miles and it's, uh, I'm not sure whether you can see there but that was a little baby rabbit, <laughs> uh, that was at Motorcare. Uh, we'll give it a service uh, check over before it goes out and it will also be MOT'd again. I shall just take you for a ride in it now. Manual gearbox and I have to say this reminds me of an old proper sports car with a manual box. Pretty basic but everything you need. I'll just, um, I'll just drive a short while with the hood down and then we'll put it up and take it down the motorway and check the cruise control. So we've got alloy wheels, I think the colour's iridium silver, I stand to be corrected later if anybody else knows different and uh, it's a beautiful car. I've driven it down here. Actually, before I go too far, I'll just show you the uh, height and reach adjustable steering wheel. So, height and reach adjustable there. Little catch underneath. Multifunction. That's your menus on the dash there. Your trip computer and so on. Showing 43,132 miles at this moment in time six-speed gearbox and the gearbox is very very nice I was at Mercedes-Benz when the SLK first came out late 96 I think it was and uh, 
after a few weeks, I had sold and had deposits on five years supply of Mercedes-Benz SLK. They were very, very popular. But once you sold them, it was, it was harder work answering the phone every week to say, uh, to tell people when the car was going to be five years and how they wanted it specified, what extras they wanted on it. It, uh, it, it, it just turned into a nightmare and uh, it was causing me too, much, too many problems, too much work um, to service customers on cars that, that I'd already sold. Uh, and they had no hope of seeing and, and to be perfectly honest I knew I wouldn't be there probably 12 months later so it was a waste of time but we'll just give it some gas as I say proper sports car and it has the advantage of having the steel hard top which is supposed to deploy in 22 seconds so you've no problems in the winter you've no condensation dripping on you no no ice no you've got a heated rear screen um, and if you are unlucky enough to turn the vehicle over you've got some tin between you and the road So great gearbox, nice light clutch. I should really have pulled in there and put the top up. Because I don't think the uh, audio is going to be up to much cop. I don't think anybody will want to wait behind me at the roundabout for 22 seconds while I put the hood up. have risked it if the lights were just changing but uh, what's the betting they change to green as soon as I get here now then yes they, they changed I was just about to put the hood up Just whip round here. This is great value for money. stop to put the hood up there's nothing behind oh Gordon Bennett right 
there's nothing behind me now. Oh, beautiful. Nice Corvette there. Outposed. Right, I've stopped. I'm not sure how much that is. Five, ten. Yep, and up before. I can now dispense with a hat. Get that on a little bit. So we've got Electric door mirrors as well, the switch is in the centre here, a little switch on the right for the right one and a little switch on the left for the left one. Six speed gearbox, climate control is nice and uh, frosty. We have... That's easy to support. Is it? Of course. CD radio. I think it has Bluetooth prep, but uh, we'll check when we get back, and if it has, I'll show you how to pay your mobile to it. The, in order to put the roof down, there's a little separator in the boot that makes sure there's enough room when the, all the hood falls down, there's enough room, and it's not gonna squash any of your luggage or damage the hood. Now, I've got in the back, which I took a photograph before, you may think there's not a whole lot of room when the roof goes down, but I had two camera bags, which are the size of rucksacks, and also um, my drone, which is the size of uh, a, a medium-sized suitcase, really. And all those things fitted in the boot with the separator down and also a tripod and a few other bits and, and bats. So there's a fair amount of uh, luggage space. And as I say, it is a proper sports car. I used to try and snaffle one of these for my day off because they're pretty economical as well. And uh, then I'd be up, up the Lake District enjoying the sunshine and the fresh air. It's got a proper handbrake. All sports cars should have a proper handbrake. Front central armrest built in. Little storage space at the back here. Got electric windows here lovely unmarked red leather nice plate oh I forgot to do the uh, that's, that's cruise control we'll just try and get it to 70 quickly so we're in six 70 miles an hour just two and a half thousand revs nice and fairly quiet bit of tire noise no wind noise which you'd get in a rag top. Um, no buffeting either when you put the windows down and the, the roof flapping up and down. Lovely car. Of course, I, I guessed it was going to come into this lane. Great handling. He's uh, not big on indicators, that guy. He just goes where he wants to. low because I want to be turning right here <laughs> and I've also got zero fuel as usual I 
uh, it's okay. Of course, I think this was probably the first one to have a proper handbrake as well, because at the time the SLK came out, it was um, Mercedes were working on the, the foot brakes and the handle here. So uh, it, it is a good addition. I remember the car, the, the first one coming off the transporter, um, our demonstrator, uh, and me and a lad called Stuart Dawson was waiting for it to come off. Um, Stuart Dawson was Les Dawson's son, the comedian and uh, a, a great lad. Um, great character, funny lad, just like his dad. And great to work with as well. And uh, we, we, got the, we got the car off the transporter and couldn't get the hood down. Of course, it was probably the first tin top that had come out um, with the electric folding roof and uh, we had to ring Mercedes-Benz. He told us to open the boot and pull the, the it was a blind then. This is a, like a hard case, but then it was just a roller blind and uh, two micro switches, which told the roof that there was enough room to go back and to carry on. But they, they were a revelation when they came out still great cars now this one has the uh, formula one inspired kind of droop snoot in the center um, probably my my second favorite shape of the slk but as i say great value for money um, I've not been able to fasten my camera to the headrest. Oh, that's that's another thing. You've also got the air, air scarf here. So that blows, when you've got the roof down, you can have the heat blowing out of the air scarf and blowing warm air on your neck so you, you don't get uh, a stiff neck. But unfortunately, I can't fasten my camera to the headrest mount, so it's just stuck to the window there. And uh, as you can see there, so that's not quite as secure and it may look like the car's bouncier than it actually is. You do get slightly more rattles and uh, squeaks in a, something with a, a convertible than, than you do with a, a proper saloon car, but, you know, just the fact that you can put the roof down on the couple of sunny days we get in the UK it makes it all worthwhile got heated seats here beautiful Jaguar there so heated seats there and there sorry there and there that's the neck scarf so switch that off on rather and we get the air coming out of there wow that's that's blown warm air that, and now it's gosh it looks like you can also alter the temperature still blown warm air and it's it's toasty that just got a live chat if the boys that talk to are watching thanks again unfortunately I can't answer it because I'm driving I don't know the lens we go to to sell cars. Ah, John's already got it on the ball at the garage. 
Well done, John. car and great registration number there. The family have some fantastic reg plates. And some fantastic cars too. So we've got left hand side speedo, clock in the speedo, we've got your odometer in the centre here, also digital speedo, which you can change the display there. Rev counter on the right hand side, fuel gauge, you've got your headlamp here, cruise control just above your indicator and also I'll just be able to move the steering wheel now so wipers on the left also indicators you've got as near to a proper key as you can get without the blade a good old live chat here hopefully that'll result in a sale which uh, they usually do to be fair and just there is your roof control Clutch pedal's a little bit squeaky, but apart from that, there's no, the, the steering's fine, braking's fine, no wobbles anywhere, no rattles, no, no knocks that you wouldn't expect from a convertible. A great colour combination. And that, the, the steering wheel looks like brand new. The seats do, don't look like they've been sat in. Clutch is nice and light, gear change good. It's got carpet mats, Mercedes-Benz carpet mats as well, the proper ones. Somebody's obviously got their accessories commissioned there when they sold it new. Got this uh, the silver inset there, matches the door handles and the electric window switch surrounds. And here we are back at the garage. Crikey, that's uh, my question is how can I go about perhaps booking a test drive? It looks in mint condition. VW Touareg, nice car. from any screen radio into telephone telephone name call list onto telephone click OK Bluetooth telephones OK update OK searching for a maximum of 10 Bluetooth telephones is taking its time so it's got my phone there Barry's iPhone 
down arrow to it comes to my phone then you've got options at the side click on the options OK authorize OK we need to give it a passcode now I'll go for naught 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 which is quickest and then we need to get across to OK if I, if I click left it comes back on the screen on the other side OK authorizing my phone and asking me for a pin naught 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 pair do you want to allow contacts and favorites to sync no I don't I won't be using the car again but you will and it's connected okay I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from uh, the Bluetooth system in this car telephone name call list into telephone OK Bluetooth telephone import contacts we want Bluetooth telephones OK and then if I go down to my phone there Barry's iPhone highlight it options so we, we click the right arrow and then OK deauthorize that's what I want to do deauthorize do you want to deauthorize Barry's iPhone 10 yes so it defaults to no I've had to press the left arrow to get to yes and then OK and that's it it's uh, the phone's gone that's it